Hello guys, this is Pete from MyJewelryBunch.com. Today I want to answer a few questions. I've gotten two questions from YouTube subscribers who can't seem to install Jewelcraft for Blender 2.9. So I'm going to go over those procedures today and explain how to do it. The first thing we're going to do is get the version of Jewelcraft that will work with Blender 2.9 and I'm going to show you how to get that now. So you open up your internet browser, you can open up whichever one you want, and I will do a search for Jewelcraft for Blender and press enter and that should bring us up a bunch of uh, videos. Here's my video, there's a couple other videos here. Uh, let's get down to, uh, let's see right here, GitHub. GitHub is the location where the author of Jewelcraft uh, has the add-on so I'm going to click on this link here to go to the GitHub address. And it will bring up this interesting page which shows all the documents that are in the file that you need to download. So the first thing we need to do is get the code. You can get the code by clicking here, but it may not give you the right code. So let's just scroll down to where it says download. And we see here how to install. First, we're going to download. Um, you can see, make sure that you have Blender 2.9 or newer, which would be 2.9.01 or newer. We're going to download Jewelcraft 2.81. So click on this link. It should bring up a little box as to where we want to put it. It's going to, on my computer, it's going to automatically put it in the downloads directory. So that's fine. I can grab it from there and move it. I'm going to actually do that right now. So I'm going to grab that. I'm going to drag it into my uh, desktop. Okay, so now that I've got that dragged onto my desktop, you can put it wherever you want. You can close your internet browser. And with Blender 2.9 or newer running, we're going to go over to the Preferences options, which is uh, the Edit menu. Scroll down to Pre Preferences, and we are going to go to the Add-ons tab right here. I'm just going to make this a little bit bigger so that you can see it. Okay, so I'm going to come down to Add-ons, and I will click the Install tab right here. And now we need to go find the version of Jewelcraft that we just downloaded. It's on my desktop. And there it is, Jewelcraft 2.81. I'm going to select that and press the Install add-on. Once you do that, it'll bring up this little box here. It should say Object Jewelcraft. To open this up, just hit the little down arrow. It will give you the author's name, the file location on your computer, and what it's called, the Description uh, Jewelry Design Toolkit. To activate this, you have to put a little check mark in this box. Once you click on that, you will get the rest of the options that go along with it. It will show you the preview resolution, which I'm not sure about that. You know, if, if you want your assets to look a little larger, pop over width, um, you can adjust that. The preview scale, um, show new asset names. You've got waiting, design report. I don't really use any of these things. And then updates. And here you can check to see if there's any new updates for this. There shouldn't be, but if I click on check for updates, it will tell me last check today and there are no new updates. So that check mark right there indicates that it is active. I can close this tab up. And now under my tools here, uh, I have a jewel craft tab, which gives me the add gem, the jeweling for prongs, cutter, micro cutters, etc. And now micro cutters or micro prong cutter, that's only available in Blender 2.9 and newer with this particular version of Jewelcraft. It is not available for Jewelcraft and Blender 2.8. So just keep that in mind. Doesn't necessarily mean you have to use it. There are ways around using that particular tool, which I think I have a video showing that, but if not, I can do another one. That is the proper way to get and install Jewelcraft 2.81 for Blender 2.9 or newer. I hope this video helped, guys. If it did, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, please can please hit the subscribe button because I do post videos about Blender and jewelry designs at least once a week as well as watch repairs and my watch reviews. Thanks very much, guys, and have a great day.